my beautiful freaks and twinks. Welcome to another episode of What You Packing. Coming to us all the way from Las Vegas. It's not a mirage, is it? It's not. No, it's mirage! <laughs> Hi, darling. How are you? I am good. How are you? I am doing great. I was okay. going to say, eh, but... <laughs> Meh. Let's jump into... I'm not going to pull any punches. We're going to get right into your exit. Okay. <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, dramatic doesn't even cover it. Really? Me? What was going on, Mirage? Well... What was, what was happening that got you there? I think it was just like all the leading up to it, like there's a lot of emotion that I was ignoring, I feel like. Okay. And just trying to get prepared. I didn't really deal with a lot of any of the emotions that go into like the the stress and the, there was no, um, I, that was just the release. It just 100%. all hit me all at once. Yeah. That's the best way to put it. I was just ignoring it for such a long time. I never cry. I hate it. How I do just, you hate it? It's just so the opposite of like fun, you know? <laughs> yeah, but crying, I mean, I've talked about this in my podcast for a million years with Rue. Crying is kind of necessary, and I, I can't, like, I struggle with it. I have a very hard time crying. So, mm -hmm. you just said it right. It was a release. Yeah. And emotion and vulnerability and tears, they're not a weakness, they're a strength. And I think we view them all wrong. So you releasing the way you did was actually great. It was just, wow. I wasn't ready either. I didn't, I've never, I've never done that. <laughs> really? Of course, I mean, I would be lying to myself if I didn't think that I was gonna come out here and get drunk on TV and cry and embarrass myself in front of everybody. Like, that's like, <laughs> of course. Is that what we can expect from Mirage in a Mirage show? No. It's gonna be different every time. You, I know what to expect from a Mirage show and I don't even know you yet. You are so incredibly engaging to watch. Oh, thanks. When you dance and seeing here with you out of drag, it blows my mind at what you can do in drag, oh. in those pleaser heels. Oh, it's the hottest shoe there is. I don't disagree. <laughs> They're like nails for your feet. I know. And what you do in them with your clacking and your spinning and you're so fluid in your dance. How do you know how to do that? I don't know. It's just the, it's the very, the femininity just coming out, I think. I always say like, and I don't, not to bring her up just because She's my sister, but I always say like, if Anitra is like the dramatics, I'm like the Vogue femme. Totally understand that. I have to give her a shout out. She was like the biggest help to me for getting ready for this besides maybe Alexis. You know, I absolutely, absolutely love Anitra. Obsessed. Me too, me yeah. too. it's annoying. So, <laughs> no. Everybody's obsessed. But you are just as enigmatic. You are so much fun to watch. How did you know you can do those things? in pleasers, most people would break their ass mm -hmm. doing what you do. I'd be lying if I said I haven't. No, you have to. You have to, but right. then you gotta get back up. Right. I always say tequila helps, first of all. That's right. how I did it the first time. And then when I kind of like pulled back from drinking, I'm like, let me see if I'm like really doing it. I just was like, well, I've done it before. So now I gotta do it sober. I don't do know. Do you pole, do pole dancing and stuff like that? I don't, I want to so bad. Oh, I and like it's, you'd be so good. Dang, that's the, I mean in Vegas, I'm also having a lot of upper body strength. So I might not, I have to work out first, but. <laughs> I have confidence in you. Watching you and the control and the strength that you do have, it's pretty impressive, Mirage. Thank you. So you started drag how long ago? Uh, it's been about six years. I... In Vegas the whole time? In Vegas, yeah, that's where I started drag. I actually started a little bit later too. I feel like a lot of the girls now are starting like before they're even old enough to go to the clubs. Uh -huh. And I started when I was like 23, which is like gay old, so. <laughs> <laughs> where did you grow up? Kind of all over. I actually went to like a new school every year up until high school. Were your parents military? Um, my work. stepdad does construction he, and he would like just follow work. So it was for work. And then um, I was living in New Mexico for high school and then I moved to Vegas after and just went nuts. So how did drag get introduced to you? My drag mom, she's a trans woman. Uh -huh. um, she's a makeup artist and I met her on set of a photo shoot and she was doing makeup and I was doing the hair. Oh, so you're a hairdresser? Yeah. And do you still do it or do you do wigs or do you do both? I try to do wigs. I, I kind of I don't really do hair anymore because oh, my uh, license like expired. Oh, you're one of them. I know. Color or cut? Both. Really? Yeah, my mom do you like one pissed better? about it. Is your mother a hairdresser? Actually, yeah. Wow. Like she that. didn't want me to. She knew there was something a little fruity about me. She would like try to keep me away from it, but ah, I found it on my you own. Can't keep, <laughs> you can't keep it away. Do you do drag full time? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so you don't yeah. have to be a hairstylist anymore. Yeah, luckily. Right, never again now. That's true, you're a Rue girl now. In Vegas, where do you perform? Um, I perform at Piranha. And Bar. some of our other girls perform there too. Who do you have that performs there with you? Um, I mean, a lot now. We just had Jasmine Kennedy. Yeah. She's in Vegas now. Yara Sophia, Alexis Mateo. Anitra. It's funny that a lot of the queens now, instead of going to LA, a lot of them are going right to Vegas. There's kind of like a renaissance, if you will, of drag in so. Vegas. Don't I think something's think? happening. It's like the beginning of something. The, the Drag Race Live is what started all of it. Right. That's what brought all the girls. And then they're realizing it's a little bit cheaper. It's like an hour flight to LA. And not that I'm trying to like convince anybody to move. There's like, we're full. <laughs> <laughs> let, me not, let me not talk it up too much. Talk about how you prepared for this season. I kind of took it on alone initially because I really like take it personally. I want it to come from me, I want it to look like it came from me, I want it to look, to look like, it's like my art, you know, trying to be creative. Of course. But when it comes like down to like the last two weeks and nothing is finished and everything is started, I have 15 projects in my room, I had to call in some backup. Help! <laughs> so I had to get the girls together and we had stoning parties and all of that. Those but. are the best. You want to tell me about a few of these looks now? The flamingo, is that a nod? A little bit, yeah, for sure. The flamingo, Las Vegas. My name is Mirage, and there's a Mirage Hotel in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Alexis Mateo made that for me. Gorgeous. I drew it up, and she thought it was hilarious, so she put little googly eyes on it, and <laughs> she's fun. She knocked it out so fast. Oh, I love that. Would it be a dream of yours to be in the Vegas show? It would, because mm. she's also in that show, mm -hmm. and she loves it. Everybody has the best experiences. Mm -hmm. That makes me so happy to hear that, because yeah. it's such a great show. And, and you'd fit in great. I think so. Yeah. I don't take up that much space, so. No, yeah. you're teeny <laughs> tiny. And this middle one, which is my favorite color, right. mixed with flowers and black, my other favorite color. What inspired that, besides me? This one, <laughs> yeah, for sure you, Thank of course. You, and then it was kind of inspired by my mom's, like our old house. There was leopard print, there was a green tweed couch, and like. I'm into that. Yes, it was my favorite house, and I don't know why. It but... stuck with you as a kid. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. It was like tropical. Tropical whore. Yes. Love. Oh, I couldn't have described it any better myself. <laughs> and this one behind me is really funky. I wanted to bring pants. I want to bring pants one time because this will show a little diversity. I love how pants are diversity. Okay, Go well, ahead. for a drag queen. <laughs> but and so that was your. I want, yeah, a little, I don't know, a little rock on moment. The stitching in the front, all of it reminds me of an incredible designer. Her name's Agatha Blois, and she was a leather designer, but she did like the Christina, the Britney, Iron yeah. Maiden, Metallica, like. Judas Priest, she did all their stuff and always had like the whip stitching. And yes. I know that you went home quicker. Yeah. And I know that your exit was the most dramatic exit in Drag Race history. Thank you. But did you enjoy your time? I did. Honestly, that's part of the reason why I was so gagged is because I was having a great time. Good. I was, yeah, it was really fun. And then, I don't know. It did feel a little bit like the rug was pulled out under me. I know the lip sync, I know that was my fault for sure but I wasn't expecting to be in there in the first place. That was the gag for me. But this is the reality, you know? It's reality TV competition is very, very difficult. And it all comes down to the challenge. It all comes down, mm -hmm. you could have been amazing. And if somebody's just that much more tuned in or dialed in, it's just that way. Mm -hmm. There's not a, a piece of you that sucks. There's An incredible talent. Piece. Well, that one piece is personal. <laughs> but I mean, like I said, the first thing I said is you are so, I can't take my eyes off of you when you perform. You are really magical, and I can't wait to come see a Mirage show where you're going to be doing all that twirling and dropping and clacking, all of it. Yes. Most importantly, I love you. I love you, Michelle. I know it was difficult to go home so soon. I know it was earth-shattering. Yes. But the truth is, Mirage, <laughs> it's just beginning for you. You gave us a teaser and a taster of what we needed to see. Good, because that's my favorite part of drag is performing and meeting the people. You could tell that that's your favorite part. So thank you. Thank you. And thank you all for joining me for another episode of What You Pack, and I'll see you next time. Oh, I never thought I'd say the word grace and pleasers together, but... Sasha Colby said it really well, too, like a lyrical ho. Yes. Beautiful. You know where to go for the mecca of gay It's right here, and you know that's right. So make sure you click to subscribe so you never miss a thing.